Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 31 of Dirt. And in this episode, we're doing the Citroen C4 Cup. And surprisingly, not surprising, is that we're going to be only be using the Citroen C4 concept car, which was not a production car by the time that this game came out, obviously. And there are our stats for the track. Tracks, because we have two different events, or two different stages. And we are only going to be using the Citroen C4 concept car. Which I'll go ahead and buy, because I have more than enough money to do so with, which is fantastic. I like this whole doing this game on a harder difficulty thing, because it makes buying things so much easier. I'm going to buy this livery, by the way. I don't know why I always go for the most expensive one, but I do. Hmm, pick up. And we'll get a bit of an idea of what we're getting into. The Citroen C4 is a proven car, no question. It's very neutral and sticks through the corners like glue. It's not as powerful as the others in class, but it is smooth and easy to drive. You'll always see its name at the top of the leaderboard. I like how you said it was proven, but like, it's a concept car. Hello. And we'll get some stage info real quick as well. A nice fast stage with mainly wide roads. A high average speed can be maintained, and you can use third or fourth gear for a lot of the turns. Watch out for a couple of big jumps. You'll need to slow down and keep the car as flat as possible to ensure you get the best landing. Uphill climb, twists and hairpins. And that's just to start off with. But it does level out as you go towards the lakeside town. Don't carry too much speed into the hairpin while you go into town, as you'll be going downhill anyway. And there's a danger of hitting the barriers if you go too fast. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started on our event here. I've driven for an hour and 37 minutes, apparently. Which is not a whole lot, considering we're 30 parts in. 31 parts, as of this one. I want to see the interior of this car. There's nothing exciting going on in here, at all. I do like the styling of the Citroen C4, honestly. I did actually end up using it a lot whenever I uh, played Forza Motorsport. I think it was 4. I can't remember if it was 4 or 3 that had uh, this car first in it, but I got maybe 3. I don't know. But I did actually enjoy driving it in that, those games. This game I didn't really care much because whenever I played through this game I didn't... I just didn't care. But... It's pretty darn neat. Oh jeez. Why is it always just wet in Japan? It's never raining, but it's wet. Again, I'm sure that if they could have, they probably would have added uh, weather effects in this game. But it just seems like something that was omitted because they couldn't either either couldn't get it to work right or I don't know. Who knows what it what it could have been? I know Cody's isn't usually the one to skimp out on weather effects. But, it's alright. The game experience is still good without it. You don't really need weather to have a really good game, of course. Like, look at Forza games. They took out Night Racing and ended up getting a more successful series after they took out Night Racing. Like, bruh. Come on. Uh oh, we're good. He's definitely right about staying in third gear for most of these. That one was questionable, but third or fourth gear do definitely work in a lot of these. Uh, this thing has like a completely glass roof, I just realized. That's a safety hazard for a rally car, I think. I, I don't feel like a glass roof is good for a rally car. I'm just going to throw that out there.
Hey, hey, I might make it through this without crashing. Probably just jinx myself, but... At least this stage, I should say. Maybe not both stages. Hmm. Yeah, close enough. Didn't really crash it. I think I just scraped a little bit right there. 11 seconds ahead, not too bad. Jeff Chapman, that yes, name sounds familiar. Yes! Indeed, we are in fact first. Very observant of you, Christian. I don't remember your last name, but I remember that your first name is Christian. I should remember your last name probably, but oh well. But there we go. The, game, the music like restarted there for a second, that was weird. Highest jump was 18 feet. That's a pretty impressive jump, I'm not gonna lie. It's worth reminding you that they are good at this stage. Don't go too fast. Okay. I will not go too fast through the hairpin in this stage then. Wait, where am I going? Oh, not that way. This way. I neglected co driver words. What's my time going to be like here? Am I ahead behind? Ahead or behind? Ooh, pretty close. 1.5 seconds. In like F1 racing, that's a lot of time. In rally racing, that's like nothing. Oh, Jesus. Please. Okay, we're good. Not sure which hairpin or where the hairpin is that they were talking about. He was talking about whatever. He's like, I've already went through what seems. Oh god, there's so many turns, so many hairpins, kind of. This is kind of a hairpin. Yeah, I don't know which one it was, but whatever. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh jeez! Ow! Ow! Ah! Uh, quit revving like that. Quit losing traction on two wheels, apparently. Uh oh! This is it right here, I think. Yeah, that was it, because I remember talking about going into the town and also the fact that you'd be going downhill when you got to the hairpin. Alright, I survived. We're good. We're Gucci. Close to the end. Opens the finish. There we go. Oh, that's all right. We did it. We won the event. Great stuff. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Not just great. Okie dokie. That's all that good. Let us continue on and get our prize money. Also, with this tier, we're going to get a decent amount of prize money, apparently. Judging by the three events I had unlocked so far. As you'll see coming up here. I didn't even pay attention to how far ahead I was, but whatever. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Thanks, Travis. 300,000. And our next couple aren't too bad either. 350, 300. You know, pretty decent money. 
Anyways, that will conclude this episode of Dirt. Thank you all so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Open to